Back when the Dead by Daylight 4th anniversary got announced, there was a lot of people who were saying that it's going to be a Silent Hill chapter, a Silent Hill chapter. And people were all, like, um, giving out their theories, what they think it's going to be, and they think it was going to be, like, um, a Silent Hill chapter. And the reason because of that was because the 4th anniversary, um, the way the 4th in the logo basically looked like um, Pyramid Head, and there's been, like, edits of people, like, editing Pyramid Head onto the logo, and it basically matched up. And uh, when the 4th anniversary um, broadcast happened, it basically uh, got confirmed that it was a Silent Hill chapter and th it was um, Pyramid Head. And they even confirmed that the 4th anniversary uh, logo was analyzing Pyramid Head. So um, because of that, with the 5th uh, anniversary, um, people are doing the same thing. Um, they're like questioning on like what this 5th uh, anniversary um, logo um, is analyzing this time what the uh, five in the logo is going to be analyzing so in today's video I'm going to talk about what I think the fifth anniversary logo could be analyzing so um, I could be wrong but um, in my opinion I think it could be analyzing the scythes remember back in Resident Evil 4 the scythe weapon the Gandalos were using the scythe as a weapon. And uh, one of the scythes that this one villain uses basically looks like the same um, scythe that matches up to the 5th anniversary logo. And I'm going to pull up an image of um, a side-by-side -side between the 5th anniversary logo for Dead by Daylight and the scythe's uh, weapon. So, as you guys can see on your screen, one of the Gandalos is using a scythe weapon that basically looks like it matches up to the 5th anniversary logo. And if that's the case, and we do get to see him as a killer, then there's a possibility that we could see um, a couple other man villagers as a killer in this uh, Resident Evil chapter. Another possibility came to mind when the Cold Wind Farm rework released. But why now? If you look closely, you'll see that there's an orange tint to the map now in this rework. You know who else has an orange color? That's right, Ashley. In conclusion, we might either see the man villager as a killer or Ashley as a, a survivor. Or we may possibly see um, Ashley as a killer. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think of all of this in the comment section below. But yeah guys, don't forget to subscribe for more, turn on notifications, and like the video. It really helps a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace!